Hey guys, I am back with another Lightroom editing tutorial today. And I know a lot of you probably follow me for the photography, so don't worry, I have not forgotten you, but with my new ventures into video, that will be a big part of this channel as well. And I will also be starting to share a lot more on my progress and my journey in case of like making this work and making a business out of videography and potentially some photography as well. So today we are back to a Lightroom tutorial once again and I'm excited to follow this one. I really wanted to go through my workflow and I've had a lot of fun editing in the past few days so I just wanted to show you my quick workflow using the presets that I've built and kind of teasing showcasing you my new preset pack that's coming very soon as well and no I'm not saying buy it it will help me out a lot but it's kind of my way to show my workflow and how you can efficiently and effectively edit without just applying preset but actually working through your edit with this kind of preset pack which is what I'm building these for so let's just jump into Lightroom and let's get started right in here inside of Lightroom you can see that we have this beautiful photo of my friend Grit this is shot in raw so that's why it looks as it does right now and let's just close up these panels and I will open the menus to make sure that you can see kind of my workflow lens corrections that's always on chromatic aberration lens profile corrections that's always on and i haven't done anything inside of transform but if the image was good or anything that needs transformation then that would be where i did it so let's just jump into the tone curve as a star and the first thing i always do is i apply a tone curve and that's to gain the contrast back so i think we will go with this high mid and what you can see that this does is that it makes your usual s curve but it raises the midtones a little bit more as well. And as you can see right now, the image is very, very dark and very, very contrasty. And that's completely on purpose because the only thing that this preset pack doesn't help you with is kind of like the basics in here. So the exposure contrast, that's something that's individual for each image and depending on how you shot it. So that's something that it would be way too many presets to make anything on that. So that's the only thing that I kind of adjust on my own. And I look at the histogram up here and you can see that we have a lot in the blacks and we have a lot in the whites right now and we don't really have much inside the midtones so a very contrast image so i'll pull down the highlights to kind of balance that a little bit and i'll pull up the shadows to do the same so now we get a much nicer and much more balanced image which is nice to work with and you can still see that if we toggle on and off the tone curve it still created a lot of contrast which is what i wanted so instead of starting by adjusting the basics this is how i go about it to get the contrast first and then kind of adjust these sliders you can do it however you want and with this kind of preset pack you can always toggle between the different presets and look later on if there's something that you like more or you wanted to change or make difference so let's jump on to the next ones so usually i just add a little bit of clarity and it's not because you can see a lot of detail being added and but i just like to add just a little bit to make a little bit more yeah clarity and texture into my image and from there usually i look at if the haze makes any difference you can see we have a quite dark image and I kind of like because it's it's a moody image I kind of like to add just a little bit of haze you can see that brightens up the image a little bit again and just makes it a little bit more hazy and what we've done essentially is that the dehaze slider we just pull that down so normally you can use that for removing haze but you can actually use it for, to kind of counterbalance that haze and add in a little bit of that hazy or more blurry kind of light feeling I don't really know how to describe it other than haze but let's move on so I just like to add a little bit of vibrance that I just added 10 in vibrance right there just to give a little bit of yeah more vibrance to the image now we have the calibration I'm working on adding a lot more in here but the tricky thing with these can be to hit the skin tone so we kind of want to stay in a level where skin tones still look nice like this is too yellow and also looking at the hair and we move down i think somewhere around the c1 and c2 could be nice but let's look at the other ones e2 will be way too bright e1 could work as well so let's just have a look i kind of like c1 a little bit more because it's got a little bit more contrast and color inside of the hair so that's what we're going to move along with then we are going to the gradings and i think for this one i kind of like to so this one adds teal and orange teal to the shadows orange to the midtones and orange to the highlights 
oh, maybe I should show, this is what we did to the calibration before. And for the color grading, this will add teal to the shadows and orange to the midtones and highlights. And this one will do teal to the shadows and the midtones and then orange to the highlights. But I kind of like to have this balance of a little bit more warmth. So I think we'll go with this one for this. And you can see how that just slightly shifted all these to create a little bit of balance. You can see we get a little bit of a warmer look inside of the highlights and we make these shadows down here a little bit more blue. It's not a lot. Then I worked around with these presets, but I actually figured that I wanted something more. And this is what I do with these preset packs. I keep updating them when I build out new stuff, when I make new color gradings, new, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm already working on version two and I found this one earlier really works. So I think this will be a nice edit. So I started with this one initially, but it was a little bit too red. So I started adjusting everything and I really think this one fits it. And I also kind of shifted the colors of the dress towards the blues. So what has happened is that inside the huge slider, the reds we've gone all the way to orange, the oranges we've pulled a little bit down and the yellows a little bit up. That was kind of to get the hair and the skin tones in a nice place. So you can see how that has affected that. And the greens, I've just pulled those a little bit down. We could have done more to these, but I kind of want them to be in a, a little bit towards the yellow tones, but still in the greens. Then the aqua is a lot of this is in the highlights up here. So we've only adjusted them a little bit. Purples, I've pushed them towards the blues. You can see how that affects the dress. Usually I don't really touch the purple and the magentas, but especially or specifically for this image, it makes sense. And then I have just for the saturation, desaturated the reds because we had some reds in her dress and just pulled up and down a little bit for the saturation to balance everything. And then for the luminance, I have put some more luminance on the skin and the hair and pulled it down a little bit for the highlights, pulled it up for the purples as well, which are now blue. And, and that's because we pulled the hue all the way to the blue side of the purple. So that's what we've done so far. Then what I like to do, which is not part of the preset pack either, is hold down my option key and drag up the masking to kind of find a nice place where all the details are and then just sharpen it a little bit. It's not because it makes a huge difference, but it's something that I just like to do to make sure that the edges are sharp. All right, so that's kind of the end of my initial preset pack. What, it, what is nice is that you can now go back and you can see, okay, do we want it to be a little bit more contrasty? You can kind of see what these different ones do, but my edits are usually not done at this point, and that's where my new preset pack comes into play. So let's have a look at what the new one does. So this one is called, the, the first one is called modular pack, and they're actually both modular, but the next one, the new one that will be coming very soon is the masking pack. So what this does is that usually when I'm done with the initial things on the image that like what we've done now, I move on to do a lot of masking and for the maskings, I find that you can do so many things that people probably get lost a little bit and I've gotten lost before as well. So what I wanted to do with this is to make all the kind of standard adjustments that I do and pull them into this so that you can see and work them out for yourself and figure out what works. So let's just do a quick and simple edit with this. So let's try the darken and that's as I've tried to uh, illustrate here is the foreground. So we're kind of trying to darken up the foreground. Now, these are too strong and that depends on your image. Sometimes these can work, but I think around this one will be good. So that just darkened the foreground and you can see if we jump into the mask, we've just made a mask that targets the foreground. So let's click done. And then these next ones are some of my favorites. That's some of the things that I do all the time is kind of make this hazy light coming in. So we have one that's from the top left, which doesn't really make sense up here right now because the light is coming from this direction, or at least we have the window with two windows in the corner here. So that would make sense. So what we're going to do is we are going to apply it from the top right. And because this image, I want it to be kind of moody and dramatic, like fantasy kind of vibe. I think we're going to go with the third one here. So that just kind of really added a lot of haze up here. So you can see how that works and makes it 
quite a dramatic effect. Then we have something for the sky. I don't really think we have a sky and I don't really want to do a lot with that right here, but that can warm up the sky, something that I'm still working on. And now we come to my favorite part, which is the subject standout. This is by far the reason that I started making this preset pack. Look at what this does. So it will just take a second to figure out the subject. And it works best if, it, if Lightroom can actually detect a subject. It can be anything basically, but it works very good with, with human subjects, of course, uh, animals, stuff like that. But it can work with anything if you have kind of like a distinct subject. If you don't, Lightroom will have a bit of a hard time doing it, but then you can just apply the presets and then kind of adjust the brushes yourself. But look at how dramatic this difference is. So this is something that I always do on my photos, especially if there's people involved. I kind of make the subject stand out from the background. And what we've done here is that we have this brighten that just, it's just a subject mask, but then we have some features that just brightens it up a little bit. And the same thing with the background, it just inverted the subject mask and then it darkens the background a little bit more to make the subject stand out. And that way we have a few ones that can work like that. So I think for this one, it could be nice to have a little bit of a cooler background, but I actually don't want my subject to be warmer as this one does right now. I do kind of like the effect in the background though. So I'll just add this one, but I will go in and remove this one that says subject contrast warm. So just delete that one. And now we got this kind of, we still got some color and some warmth in her because we had that in the edit, but now the background is a lot cooler and that comes from this one up here so it just kind of made the temperature towards the cooler zones and then the last thing that i like to do is that the background can be desaturated a little bit i don't think it makes that much of a difference in this image actually um, because we already desaturated a lot of the colors but that's kind of what i'm working on right now i'm going to put some more presets into this but then this will be available within the next week. If you do buy my current preset pack in the meantime, then you will receive an exclusive discount code for the next one. There will be a bundle as well, but the discount code that you get for this new preset pack will be cheaper. All right, so just, just have a quick look at what we actually did with this edit. So this is where we are right now. And if we just hit the reset button here, you see this is what we came from. So if we go down, you can see that this is where we are now. This is where we came from. And all of this, most of this was done with just clicking through the preset pack. And this preset pack set is, they're meant to help you understand editing so that you can do it better yourself. You can just use them and click through them, but I hope it makes it easier to kind of understand and use them. You can always go back and then say, okay, now we have our masks on as well, but we want to kind of adjust the, we want a bit more contrast perhaps or we want it a bit more faded, then we can do this. Then we want to remove some of the haze again, or maybe we want to add even more to make it even brighter. We could go down and just use a different color scheme as well, or we could add some grain to make it a little bit more vintage kind of feel. So that's all within this preset pack. And I think it works pretty well that you can just go back and forth and it works of course with all the preset packs you might have made yourself or bought from others already these work with that as well you can apply one of the other presets and then you can toggle through these to kind of figure out how and what you would like to do so that is my workflow in terms of my editing right now and how i go about it um, i love to just like try and find these different moods and i think I'll make a new series very soon where I try to edit different styles to kind of challenge myself and to help you guys figure out how you can do different styles. So if you have any big influencers, Instagrammers, photographers, whatever, which style you really like and you want me to cover that, then you can just drop that down in the comments below and I'll have a look and I'll try and do something myself. So that is it for this video and this kind of overview on how I go about my editing in Lightroom. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and until the next time, take care.